Hi guys, you're watching Factory78.com. They contacted uh, me via my agency. They spoke to my manager, um, Dean Baker, and um, yeah, it came by that way really. Um, we had a meeting after the Olympic Games. We had another meeting, and Dean and Richard had a meeting, and it turned out that um, yeah, they were the, definitely the best guys to go with. Determination, all the all the pain I went through and rehab on my shoulder, and that shit, that great determination I have, and I think that's like innate in me, you know. And I managed to kind of pull that back, and, and, and I qualified, and then even like. In getting to the Olympic Games was hard. I don't think anybody, any any boxer, any other athlete had a as hard a journey as me going to the Olympic Games. And then prior to the Olympic Games, probably all you know, my mum was taken very seriously ill um, to the point where I pulled out of the Olympic Games. Six weeks on the and on the eve of the game, my mum, like yes, she was taken very, very ill. Um, so boom, I pulled out, didn't do a stroke, didn't do, didn't do a press up, didn't do a sit up, didn't do a one, didn't throw a punch for three weeks, I was by her bedside, and I didn't even really want to go through the Olympic Games yet. On the walk, my sister's gonna. <laughs> My sister kind of played the girl card, they said, look, mum's going to get better. At this point, we didn't know where she was, not going to live or die, and it was, she really was, it looked like she was going to do like, the latter, you know, for a long period of time, and they played that, they played that girl card. <laughs> so I went back to the gym, went back to Sheffield, after three weeks of doing nothing, three weeks, two and a half weeks before the Olympic Games started, had my first spa, I didn't want to be there, I wanted to be back with my mum and with my family. The first spa, I um, Back, my head was all over the place. I threw up a slow jab, and my spine. Fred Evans obviously went on to get a silver medal in the game. It was a great fight. I threw a slow jab out, and he slipped in and threw my my body and broke my rib. So there I am, a broken rib on the Eve Olympic Games. I didn't want to go. But mum was mum was like desperately ill. I didn't want to be there, but I kind of managed to kind of somehow, you know, go in a trance, kind of pull it all together and watch the Olympic Games. And even at the Olympic Games, I had a horrible draw, had a tough sleeping draw. And even despite all that, you know, I still kind of managed to kind of keep it together win a medal um, and yeah and, and, and become and, and leave the Olympic Games with, 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 with some success. So that's why I'm now as a professional I've got, I've got, I've got that and that's innate in me now. That's 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 better than me. I've learned that from my mum. I've got that work ethic and that ethos from my mother that um, I know as a professional with you know the best promoter in the world, you know, with the best manager in the world who I've asked one of my very, very best friends who's gonna do right by me and you know, do right by me is you know, I trust my career, I trust the man of my life so we have all this team around me, I'm going to get the best trainer in the world to work with me. I just can't see, you know, with my talent and my determination, I can't see how I'm going to fail. And that's not meant in an arrogant way, that's just meant in a confident way. And I just, I believe in my talents, I believe in these guys around me on this table. And I believe I'm going to, you know, like I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to try to be the best middleweight I've ever had from this country. I'm going to speak pretty strongly saying we're going to How difficult is it to want to say that you make it up for you before you start? It was relatively dis difficult because just because you know the you know the, the squad's great, you know the, the setup they've got up in Sheffield is, is, is phenomenal. The coaches are great. I've made some great friends up there. But it was just a case, and I genuinely was like hum and hard on what to do for a, for a period of time. Um, had a met many promoters by then. Went back up to Sheffield and went. <laughs> I sat in the ring apron. And I looked around and I just thought. I don't know if I could do this for another four years. You know, they were talking about the Stranger Cup, which is a tournament I won in 2011. It was a really, really hard tournament in Bulgaria. Mine is 15 degrees in, in February ago, and it's just, I didn't want to go from boxing in the XL Arena, 10,000 people chanting a go-go, you know, like being like the, the center of attention somewhat, to go into, go into the Stranger Cup and boxing in a school hall in front of 50 people. I just didn't want to do it. And then I met Richard, and then you know he gave, you know he told me I could be potentially boxing on my own the cards in, in the Indian brand in Las Vegas, or I could be having massive, I could headline big shows here in East Anglia, you know, in, in London, you know, in Manchester, in Birmingham, in, around the UK, and you know, captivating the, the national public. So when I kind of waited up before, you know, I went to London. London was amazing. We always not going to be as good, but you're not going to have that that passion of the of the local people. Um, I've been, it was an easy decision. And then when I met Richard again, you know, it was an easy decision of who's going with and gone on from there. Now we're, now we're all sitting in this room together talking. Hi, guys. You can talk about the small plan. Is there a first offense in mind to be ordained in my plan? We're going to be looking at, uh, we're working with uh, Anthony and the team. Uh, we're looking at uh, some plans towards the end of April, beginning of May. Um, and uh, I'm going to have. Uh, our matchmakers are very common in the first year, so we're going to be looking at the right opponents, and uh, we are going to be taking the services of the matchmaker here in the UK as well. 
Um, so beat him up really in the World Championships final. And um, that's quite frustrating for me to not like go on and, and do better, but like I said, I alluded to earlier, my, my draw was, was tough and it took a lot out of me. Um, and I'll just, I want to, I think, the main reason for, for Nostan Amateur is because London was so great. London was amazing, you know, everybody, I'm assuming everybody got the chance to go down to at least one event. And if you heard the accelerator, you saw how amazing it was. And I just don't want to go to Rio de Janeiro and, and box in a half empty stadium because like, that's where they were in, in Beijing. And I want to kind of leave my Olympic leg because I've had, a, I've had an extensive amateur career. I've, I've enjoyed every single year of it. Um, the ups and downs I've learned from and I've, I've developed my character from it. And, I've just thought, what an amazing place to leave it, you know, and if I am going to turn professional, I need to do it now. And I can give myself a good 10, 12 years of, of, of carbon of a professional career out. And if I did want to be, you know, if I do want to be better than Adam into, or not better, but uh, alongside and held in the same kind of esteem as this great, amazing fighter like that, I need to give myself a good 10, 12 year career and do it. So I thought, now is a chance. If I stay another four years, I potentially may never turn professional and I'll be, one of those, I'll be, I'll be a, an amateur fighter who people tend to forget in 10 to 12 years. So I thought it was definitely the time to do it now. And the second part of that is obviously being signed by, by a, you know, as you say, a power broker in the world of boxing. Um, do, you, do you intend to have spaticals where you go and do some of the training in America as well? Can you talk about that? Yeah, no, I'd love that. I've discussed with Richard uh, numerous times. Um, obviously, and then. <laughs> The guys that know me here know that I'm very patriotic. And I'm, again, I don't know if there's anybody in the Olympic Games across all the countries who was, was, was proud to represent their country as I was, you know, and has worked as hard to get to the Olympic Games as I, as I did. Um, and I'm very much a British fighter. You know, I don't want people to you know, have to, um, to misconstrue that fact. You know, I'm very, very much a British fighter. But listen, you know, in America, that's where a lot of the big guns are. That's where, like Richard said, the age of growing has come from. And if I can go over there and, and spend some time in America camp and spend some time in the World Cup or spend some time sparring with Peter Quillen, you know, the uh, middleweight world champion, that's only going to bring me on, it's only going to benefit me. So I, I think the, the, the beauty of this deal is I can, I can stay here and train here or I want to do a lot of my training here because I'm very much a British guy, but I also get the best of both worlds where I can go over to America and can go down to Mexico and spar some top top players, sell out players, you know, amazing people like that and learn because. I don't want to box myself off and become like a, a European style fighter, you know, what the Americans call. I want to become an all, an all round fighter. I want to become, like I said, the best fighter I can possibly be, the best fight, the best middleweight out there. Um, and I'm, and that's going to happen through a lot of hard work and determination, and a lot of hard sparring, and a lot of hard training here and over in America. So I think that's the, one of the beauties, one of the things that builds me greatly about this, um, about this partnership. Thank you. Thank you. Can you go um, not yet, no, not, not as of yet. I think, again, the beauty of it, I can, I can go and I can explore and I can go and work with different coaches. I don't particularly want to have six, seven, eight different coaches throughout my career. I'd love to have just the one guy. So I'm going to spend probably this year from traveling around, traveling around Britain, traveling around um, the US and working with some different guys and learning different things, adding different strings to my bow, you know. And, I'm going to do lots of, obviously, I'm probably saying here, I'm going to do a lot, um, a lot of my work with Graham Ever over in Norwich, he's a, he's a brilliant, brilliant coach, you know, he's, he's very much underrated, he's done a lot of good things with, like, limited, limited, limited pool of boxes and a limited uh, ability. Um, so I'm going to do a lot of work with him, and I'm also going to continue to go up to Sheffield and start with some of the amateurs, because being the young, I was, I've done a lot of sparring with Carl Brush over the last two or three years, and we've all seen how phenomenal, how, how he's managed to kind of elevate his game to another level, and I like to think, I have like a small part in doing that, you know, my speed and my sparring has definitely helped Carl and he's the same I want to go over there and go up to Sheffield and spar some of the to you know, retain my speed, retain my quickness and, you know, go to go to America. So hopefully by the end of the year I'll have something a bit more structured, a bit more in place. But now, you know, this, this first year when I'm out learning, I'm like a, like a blank canvas, you know, you can paint whatever you want on me. I can go in there and learn some stuff. Does that mean Anthony you don't know is going to be in your corner uh, for your first professional? Um, not as of yet, no. I've got, again, I've, I've got a couple of ideas, but um, well, I'll discuss with Dean, I'll discuss with Richard. And um, yeah, I think the first year is all about learning. I think the first year is all about, all about learning. And as I'm new to the professional game, every single person out there, you can probably teach me a you know, like whole notebook of things. So I'm very much back camera, so I want to learn, I want to absorb as much information as possible. So this first year, I want to kind of learn different things, see who I like, see who I want to deal with, 
and then by the end of the year, hopefully before you know, by the summer that'd be great, but hopefully before have somebody who I trust you know, completely and do someone going to me and they say throw a double jab, spin around and then kick it from an arm, that's what I'll do because I trust them that much. So yeah, hopefully by the end of the year that's not going to be more structured. Um, I think, you know, like, you know, I've known him for years and I have to thank him as well as the GB squad, you know, the poor man that has got me to this place. So I want to thank all the guys who helped me get to, get to this table with Richard and Dean and Mickey on this table now. But, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do a little bit now and then. You know, I've got a lot of respect for John. He's helped me get to where I am. He's, you know, he's driven me around the country from a five-year-old spa and all the, all the good kids. Um, yeah, well, so I'll do a little bit and I'm going to keep to my roots, but obviously to this stage now I'm going to be eventually in the next two, three years boxing the best fighters in the world. Therefore I'm going to need the best coach and accessible to me, the best coach in the world, which I'm willing to get. But someone like him, well, he's known me great, you know, I walk into the gym as a 12 year old, the person behind the counter, you know, taking my subs money, taking my £1.50 from me. So he, whenever he tells me some advice, I'm never going to take it on board, but my main train is obviously going to be in a, in a highly respected regard. You know, Okay, uh, if there are no other questions, I want to uh, as well thank you to all of you uh, from, from the media. I always feel very welcome here and I want to thank you with many of you. I have built more special relationships and friendships and, and uh, if it wouldn't be because of, of you, I don't think I would be here and make that step for all the boys. I really appreciate the relationship I have with you, the support you have given to all the boys and I hope I can count on your continued support and always accessible to, to all of you and uh, really a big big thank you from me to all of you thank you and you're going to be available now for one month as well thank you